This is our fourth example of using the Promotions Edition from Technology Management. Here we see the Promotions list, which shows you all the promotions within the system, along with a brief description, valid dates and their enabled status. So here from here we can click through and see the promotion card. This is promotion number 004. Here we are using promotion codes as the qualification criteria. In the general fast tab, we see that the date set this to be valid within January, but it can be combined with other promotions. The currency code is left as default, local currency. It cannot be converted to another currency, so only domestic customers will qualify. And the promotion is enabled. The customer fast tab sets who is eligible. Here, it will apply to all customers with no filtering. The qualification criteria fast tab filters eligibility according to what they are buying, or in this case, what codes are entered onto the sales document. There are no specific items, quantities or amounts that need to be met here, just the codes and they will apply to all items. There is a new page created by this edition called Promotion Code Groups. If we go to view that page, we can see lists of all the promotion code groups. If we go through onto the card for the promotion code group we are using, called Promotion 32%, we can see the setup of the codes in this group. The Promotion Code Group card page shows the details of a specific promotion. It shows the setup and tracks the usage of those codes. In the General Fast tab, we see the code, which is a reference name, a description, the maximum number of uses each code is valid for, and the format the code will take. The code format here is four digits, two numbers or letters, then two letters. The Promotion Codes Fast tab lists all of the codes that have been created for this promotion and tracks the number of uses for each one. Here we can see that four codes have been created, two of them have already been used twice, so they won't work anymore. They've hit their maximum number of uses. Two of them have been used just once, so we'll have one further use available. The Number of Uses field can be clicked. This will display a list of the documents on which the codes have been used. The page that opens lists the two quotes that they were used on. Clicking Show on the Home tab of the ribbon will take the user to view the selected document where the code was used. We can create more codes ready to use quite easily. On the Home tab of the ribbon, we can choose the action Generate Codes. This allows the user to create more codes for use with this specific promotion. They will inherit the properties set in the General Fast tab. In this example, this would be codes that can be used twice and have four digits, two numbers or letters, then two letters. The user can determine how many new codes to create and whether they should be sequential or random. This example will produce two more codes, following on from the last created code, 00AI in this case, and we can now see the two new codes generated, 00AJ and 00AK, each of which are now valid for the full two uses. As sequential codes could present an easily guessable sequence, the user may wish to create randomly generated codes. These will still be valid for the same number of uses. Here, we can see the three new codes that were generated, each of which are valid for the full two uses. Now we have sorted our promotion code group, we can return to setting up our actual promotion. The Promotion Benefit Fast tab determines what the effect of the promotion will be. Here, it will apply to all lines on a qualifying sales document and apply a 32% line discount to those lines. We could have chosen other options, like just the qualifying lines we select or just the cheapest line. The tick box prompt for confirmation means that if we select this, then when the code is used on a sales document, a dialog box will open with all the lines selected at first. The user can then choose to deselect any they wish. Here, we've kept it simple and all lines will qualify for the line discount, which has been set to 32%. This will work alongside any standard NAV pricing or line discount that has been set up. We will now try an example. So we need to create a new sales document. The promotions edition will work with a sales quote, sales invoice for example. Here we're going to create a new sales order. 
the system automatically generates an order number for us. Then we will choose the customer. It doesn't matter which customer for this example, as all customers can use these promotion codes. So customer 40,000, Deerfield Graphics Company. Now the customer is selected, we need to add some item lines to the lines fast tab. Again, all items qualify in this promotion, so the choice does not really matter. So I'll choose item 1500, a lamp, and a quantity of nine. In order to use the promotion codes, we need to go to the ribbon on the Navigate tab and choose Document Promotion Codes. Here, we can enter the codes in the Edit screen. So I enter 00AF. Once the code is entered, click to move off the box. Then click the cross to close down that Edit screen. The code is now stored on the sales document and is counted as having been used. If we look at the Promotion Code Group Card, we can see that the one we used is now showing two uses. So if we return to the sales document and apply the promotion to the order, we get an information message confirming that one sales line has been updated by one promotion with one benefit line. If we look at the lines fast tab, we can see it has applied a 32% discount to our line. We can also review this by going to the promotion summary page where we see details of what was applied, the promotion number, its name, and what it did. If we attempt to use that same code again in another sales document, we will get an error message. So if, for example, I create a new sales quote, add a customer, add an item, and then go to the ribbon to document promotion codes and attempt to use a code that's already reached its maximum number of uses, we will get an error message as the code does not pass validation checks and you cannot go any further. So to continue, we would need to use a different code instead. This time, the validation is fine. We can apply the promotion and get our 32% discount on the line. 